results are in. Looks like you just danced your way into destiny, your majesty, queen of the prom. Oh, come on. There is no way I'm gonna get it. <laughs> you always say you're not gonna win. And then you always do. Yeah, Miss Class Treasurer, president of the Honor Society. And soon to be dancing with the Metropolitan Ballet. Okay, don't jinx me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the magic moment has arrived. You know them. You obviously love them. You voted them your king and queen of the prom. And the winners are... Scott Peterson and Alyssa Lennox! so perfect tonight, I got this serious case of prom fever. Oh, wow, I mean, disco fever. Look at that outfit, boogie down. Oh, hey, how about that 70s hair, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Did your crown happen to look like this one? <gasps> oh, <laughs> honey, congratulations. I knew you were gonna win. Shh, you're gonna wake Dad. Oh, please, you could do double pirouettes on his chest and he wouldn't budge. Should I try? Might be a good warm-up for the audition. No, I think you should be getting to bed. Auditioning ballerinas, they need their beauty rest. That's Valerie Virchenko. She was in the first ballet I ever saw. Yikes. She makes me nervous just looking at her. All right, children, let us begin. You are all warmed up? Yes. That is yes, madame, and that was not a question. Now, we are privileged to have here today Miss Gillian Monroe, our principal dancer from the company, who will assist me in evaluating your performance. First group. Very good, thank you. Um, step forward. First arabesque, please. Thank you. That will be all. You're not gonna have lunch? No, I usually rehearse right through lunch. You will too if you're smart. I don't mean to scare you. Well, actually I do. If you want to do well, you've got to work really hard. I will. Didn't I work hard for you all those years? Even though you were a pain? <laughs> Remember when you went on point for the first time? <laughs> yeah, it fell flat on my butt. <laughs> this is a whole other level though, Alyssa. It takes total dedication, and I think you made it, but just barely. Okay, I'll practice every day to get ready. Good luck. What time's Dad getting home? I've got something to tell you guys. Tell us what? Sorry. Sorry, I know I'm late. I know I'm late. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hey. <laughs> what? What's up? Oh, not much. You're just looking at the newest apprentice dancer for the world-famous <laughs> Metropolitan Ballet. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. oh, another artist in the family. Mm, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that sure is. Wow, look at this. So it's, uh, it's been ballet over college, huh? We've talked about this, David. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Just a small piece for me, please. I know, but so is an academic scholarship to Northwestern. I mean, they have a great theater and dance program there. Yes, but Metropolitan wants me now. A professional dance career is short enough as it is. And think of all the money you'd be saving on housing. I'll be commuting. I'll even be getting a salary. I just want you to be sure. 
Can you hear me? College, it's, it's a great time to figure out your future and to explore your options. There are no other options. Our daughter wants to be a ballerina. Don't you, honey? Right. Where's the door to the main stage? It's down the hall on your left. And hurry, you're late. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you all to the Metropolitan Ballet Company. This is the main stage where we will premiere this season's ballet. My name is Michael Gregory. I am the artistic director and choreographer. Most of you have already met Madame Brachenko, our ballet mistress. All apprentice dancers will wear black leotards and pink tights. You will attend classes every morning and rehearsals every afternoon. Our standards are very high. That's why you're here. And we expect you to live up to them. Speaking of which, young lady, yes, you, the one who is late, please stand. What is your name? Alyssa Lennox, sir. Alyssa Lennox. Remember that name, everyone. Apparently, she doesn't plan to be here long enough for us to read it in the program. If you don't want to be part of this company, there are a hundred other girls that would kill to take your place. Be seated. Ninety-eight. He was pretty tough on you. Ninety-eight? Yeah. All right. I'll definitely never be late again. <laughs> You should have known better. Next. Michael Gregory doesn't fool around. Where are you from, anyway? 97. Cliffside? No wonder. I guess we're the only two from outside the farm system. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, they've all been taking classes here together for years. I'm Melissa, by the way. Tori. Nice to meet you, troublemaker. Step up, please. One oh four. Hmm. Plies, ready, and... Demi-plie and stretch. Demi-plie and stretch. Complie, pour de bras forward. Your body is my instrument. Make music with your movements. Alyssa, stomach in, pull up. No, you're off the music. Listen to the beat. Do it again from the top. Energy, energy. Higher, Karen. We've been working on this for two weeks. Are you tired? Is this too much for you? I hear there are plenty of job opportunities in Vegas. No, madame. I need my tape. Get your own. Alyssa, you're leaning again. Torso over hips. Good. That will be all for now, ladies. Evaluations tomorrow. Jillian, Adam, shall we continue with the pas de deux from Act Two? Good choice. Like he even knows what a football is. I'm sorry. Can I can I get some water? Of course, darling. No. 
There's no time for a break. We need to get this down. You can do it, can't you? Of course. I'm sorry, Anna. There are other dance companies. I heard Anna was getting cut. Alyssa. Well, you show some promise, Alyssa. But I won't lie to you. You're still light years behind the other dancers in pure technique. You should be doing triple pirouettes and double piquets by now. You have to work. Work, work, work. Nothing but dance. Après la danse, l'amour. We'd like to see some improvement in jumps and port de bras. Your neck and arms are too stiff. Your body line needs work. Everything. But especially body line. I'm trying. I've already lost five pounds. Well, try harder. You could afford to drop another five. Thank you. Corey, come in, please. Hey. Hey. Evaluations are always tough. You can't let it get to you. You have to use it to make you stronger. Make you work harder. I know. It's just hard sometimes. Wanna grab a coffee? <laughs> no. I better grab a rehearsal room instead. You're gonna do fine. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. That's okay. <laughs> you want to uh, maybe take a break, grab a coffee, some dinner? I, I swear it's not a ploy to get the room or anything. <laughs> no, I I'd love to, but uh, I've got to work right now. Sometime soon? Hey, yeah, sooner the better. See how beautiful she is? Mm. Whatever you do, don't don't laugh. <laughs> Stop it. What? Stop. Hey. <laughs> oh, you know, it is good to see you smile, though. You've been working pretty hard lately. Yeah. I better get back to it. Really? Gosh, I, I was hoping that maybe you and I could go have a relaxing dinner tonight. You're Dad's working late again. Uh, I've got a rehearsal double so case. Okay. Have fun. Oh, this is such a good idea. Usually my muscles are in one big knot after I drive home. Oh, yeah? I'm pretty good with nuts. I, I was a Boy Scout, you know. Uh-huh. Not anymore, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you should just save yourself a commute and just move into the city. My mom gets lonely when my dad works late. Besides, where would I live? You could try the dorms. Or better yet, I got some room at my place. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, do you want to go check out Jillian's rehearsal with me? Uh, principals only. Stop! We're going to be principals someday, okay? <laughs> Come on!
clumsy. This is the ballet, not the damn roller derby. Now do it right. Are you okay? Fine. Let's just let's just get this. Let's take it from the top, please. This is a closed rehearsal. No. Let them stay. These idiots can't do it. Maybe they can step in and take over. Jillian! Oh, my God. Jillian! Jillian, get up. This isn't funny. This is not a joke, Michael. She's not breathing. Hey, just give her some space. Somebody call 911. So you guys saw Jillian collapse? Mm. We tried calling the hospital, but they wouldn't tell us anything. You think she's going to be all right? She probably just overexerted herself. I'm sure she'll be fine. I hear she didn't have it under control at all. What are you talking about? You don't even know her. We all saw her get dizzy the other day. You don't have to know where to see she was pushing herself too hard. That's what it takes to make it. A total dedication. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm sure you've all heard by now that our dear friend and colleague, Jillian Monroe, collapsed last night during a rehearsal. She was taken to Memorial Hospital, where she passed away earlier this morning. From what? What happened? The doctors say she suffered from a congenital heart condition, which led to a seizure brought on by overexertion. Look, I know this is a shock, and it's going to be very difficult. But we have to keep on working. We have an opening coming up. Jillian would have wanted us to go on. Okay? Madam. It's all right, children. It's okay, darling. Come on now. Jillian's mom looks just like her. Kathleen danced with Metropolitan in the 70s. Oh my God, Kathleen. I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, if there's anything we can do. Thank you. Alyssa, look at you. You are beautiful. She's just started with the company. Yes, I know. Jillian told me. She was so proud. I promise I'm not going to let her down. I know. Please, on point. You're leaning like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <sighs> or should I say the Leaning Tower of Pizza? have it together from what I hear. Yeah, she was too dehydrated. She was on too many diet pills. And they're bad for your heart, you know? Well, that would never happen to me. Not with this herbal. It's got vitamin supplements. Mm. Thanks, but I'll stick with the old-fashioned method. Mm. Do you want one? It's a hell of an appetite suppressant. No, thanks. I don't like anything unnatural in my body. Yeah, like all that coffee and soda you drink is natural. I'm telling you, if you're worried about your weight, you ought to try a herbal. It's great. Maybe I will. Thanks. I've been thinking about liposuction over Christmas, or maybe getting a rib removed. Really? Guys, guess what I just heard? They're giving people a chance to move up, you know, because of Jillian. Already? They think they can just replace her? 
All I know is there's an opening for the demi solo in Act One. The one with the Fuertes. That's a promotion to the core. So I called the beach, and I got the same condo that we had last year. And I figured we could pick you up on Friday on our way out there. No, I'll just, I'll have veggies. Mm. Uh, since when? Since I've got to watch my body line. Well, honey, I think you look great. For an apprentice. There's an opening for a demi solo coming up. I was thinking I might audition for it. I think you should. It's a great opportunity. If I get it. If you work at it, you get it. Oh, Mom, I know that it's your birthday this weekend, but I really don't have time to take off to go to the beach. Could we just celebrate here instead? Oh. Um. Sure. Thanks. In fact, I better go practice. I hope she's not pushing too hard. Look, no, she's committed. Let her commit 100%. You know, David, what it kills this thing is her to take a little bit more off and find out. You keep pushing her. Thank you, ladies. The results of the audition are Tori, Golda, Karen, Alyssa, you'll move on to the next round. we go out dancing at night. <laughs> we must be crazy. Oh, we're completely nuts. But I don't think Madame Vrachenko would consider this dancing. She can be such a hard ass sometimes. <laughs> Your body is my instrument. Yeah, her instrument is torture. <laughs> uh, I can never understand how you girls survive on that. It's, it's like eating crunchy water. Well, don't forget the diet soda and the adrenaline. You know, in fact, I feel a rush coming on right now. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Honey, I think maybe you've been pushing yourself a little too hard lately. I'm doing what it takes to make it, all right? And I took the night off. You're just mad because I didn't spend it posing for you. Uh, no, I'm not. Alyssa, I don't like the way you've been eating, cutting everything into those little pieces. That's to help my digestion. It's a dancer thing. Still does not explain to me why you're looking so tired all the time. <sighs> Well, maybe because I have to drive all the way back here every night. Or maybe because I'm standing here arguing with you instead of sleeping.
Wow, you're light as a feather. Guess it's all that crunchy water. <laughs> you want to go for a whirlpool? Oh, no thanks. I have to work on that demi solo some more. Oh, yeah, the next round's tomorrow. Could you use some help from an older, wiser chord answer? Yeah, is, is there one around? <laughs> Very funny. I don't know. Thank you. Audition results in just a moment. You okay? <sighs> yeah, fine. Come on, I'll take you to the train. No, it's fine. It's just a cramp. You haven't been eating much, have you? It's probably a stress fracture. Aren't you taking those herbals with calcium? They're not working anymore. <sighs> Maybe I should go see the trainer. Fine. He'll just turn you in for being too weak to dance. Okay, we've made our decision. Tori, Golda, and Alyssa. Yes. You're almost there. Keep working. And that's why it was such a shock to discover a heart problem. Jillian was always such a passionate dancer. Just like her mother. It was a tragic death. It's affected us all very deeply. Which is why we've asked you here today, Ms. Monroe. We'd like to set up the premiere of our new ballet as a benefit performance in Jillian's memory. Oh, this means so much to me. And it would have meant so much to Jillian. So you decide the charity, and we'll be in touch. We're on thin ice. What do you mean? I saw Jillian before she died, Michael. Now, I'm no expert, but it's obvious the girl had a problem, which means that we have a problem. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Franklin? I'm just the artistic director. I can't control what these dancers eat and don't eat. You control who dances and who does not dance for us. If there's anything wrong with any of these dancers, you put them on a leave of absence. Now. He just doesn't get the aesthetics of the art form. This is why people come to the ballet. They don't want to see a bunch of tubbies twirling around up there. You know what it's like. You've been through it. That's exactly why I'm concerned about a couple of the girls. Karen, Lauren, Alyssa. Fine. We'll have another way in. Call it a costume fitting. Anyone under 90 pounds goes on a leave. Alyssa's a gem, though. We're not about to let her go. I don't care what Marsh has to say. How about some popcorn? Nothing. I'm stuck. How? All you did was move the food around your plate. I have to eat my food in smaller portions so my body can absorb them better. I explain that. You know, this is why I want to move out. I'm an adult, okay? I don't need you breathing down my neck every second. Honey, we're just concerned about you. Dad, are you included in that royal we? 
Do you feel like you're working too hard? No. If anything, I'm not working hard enough. I barely made it to the second round of that solo audition. You know, she's always known her limitations. But look at the bags under her eyes. She's exhausted. I told you I would be a lot less tired if I didn't have to come back here every night. Okay, no. No, I am not in love with the idea of you moving into the city by yourself. I wouldn't be by myself. I'd be in the dorms with everybody else. And they've all got an advantage over me with the studios and the training rooms right there. I don't know. Look, Alyssa has always known what's best for herself. Besides, got to kick the little bird out of the nest at some point, right? Costume fitting. Great, I knew I shouldn't have had that pasta last night. The opening's weeks away. They wouldn't schedule a costume fitting now. It's a way in. You probably want to make sure nobody's in trouble like Jillian was. You're telling me that we could be cut for being too fat, now we could be cut for being too thin? You can't win. Great. And we have to go. Hm. Mandatory. And it's in an hour. There goes the competition. Put on as many pair of tights as you can get away with. Stuff your bra, slap on some band-aids, anything that'll give you extra ounces on that scale. I'm gonna get a roll of quarters and stick them in my hair under my bun. Alyssa, maybe you shouldn't do this. You have lost a lot of weight lately. I didn't want to say anything, but... Then do me a favor. Don't. What are you so nervous about? Nothing. Step up, Tori. One oh four. Good. Thank you. Karen? Karen. Darling, can I speak to you for a moment? However, we can. It's just a leave of absence, Karen. Alyssa. Thank you. You're not ready. I thought we were going out. I've got to practice. Come on, it'll be fun. Do a little dancing or something. I've got to get this solo perfect. Oh, come on, it looks great. It needs a break. I can't, okay? I'm this close to nailing it. Energy boost. Do you have anything? Why should I help you? Fine. If you can handle a little competition. <laughs> have you tried caffeine pills? I've tried everything over the counter. Alyssa. Yeah, are you sure about this? No, hey, if she needs it, she needs it. I know this guy. His name is Wade. And he hangs out downtown in front of this club. Thanks.
You can't do this. I have to. But can't go notice how tired I am. Look, I just need something to tide me over to the break. Then I promise I'll do nothing but rest. Well, I'm not going to let you go down there on your own. Sure, this is it. Hannah, it, I think it's the sphere around the corner. Okay, well, just stay close to me, okay? Because this looks really bad. I will, okay? Relax. You sure you want to do this? Well, we're here, aren't we? Let's go. Are you Wade? Who do you want? Um, a friend. She said that I could get something from you to help me stay awake. After some speed? Why don't you say so? That will be all for today. Yes. Yeah, Look, Zach. I'm sorry about the other night, okay? You were right. It was stupid. So why do you keep avoiding me? Look, Alyssa, you're way too intense. I mean, all you ever do is work. Why don't you take some time out, have a little fun once in a while? But that girl's just a load of laughs, isn't she? What are you talking about? This is about you. Forget it. Energy next time, boys. Now the girls. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, and four. Five minutes. Get some water. Alyssa, are you ready for the audition? I've been working really hard on it. Good. But I'm still concerned about you. 
We were a lot alike, you and I. My body line went up and down, too. Maybe too much down. You understand what I'm saying? It would not be good for your career right now for you to take time off, so you must keep up your strength. It's very important. Yes, madam. All right. Um, brown rice, please. Sweetheart. Hey. You're wearing makeup. What's the occasion? Oh, we just had dress rehearsal. Oh. So, where do you want to go have lunch? I ate in the cafeteria. I thought we should just go for a walk. Okay. It's such a warm day out, honey. Why don't you take off your sweatshirt? That kind of looks like yours. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, boy, Alyssa. What? Honey, okay, I'm worried about you. You are so pale and so thin. Mom, I look just like all the other dancers. You saw them. But I'm not worried about the other dancers, honey. I'm worried about you. Don't be. I'm fine. Do you think Metropolitan will let me try out for the solo if something was wrong? Well, when you come home over the break, I'm going to take you to the doctor and see what he says. I am sort of wanting to talk to you about that. The final audition is right after vacation. Uh, no. You were not thinking about staying in the city. Actually, I was. <sighs> Mom, if I make it through one more trial, I'll be in the core. More money, more prestige. A solo my first season? Look, honey, I know the ballet means a lot to you. As, as an artist, I can understand that, but this myth that you have Mom, to suffer for on. your art. What? Your sculpting, it's nice. But my dancing is different. It's serious. Oh, well, so am I. You're coming home next week, and that's final. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he was asking. What are you doing? Nothing. You coming in? No, thanks. There's a crowd. Alyssa, wait! It's nothing. Zach, what are you doing in here? I knew it was someone else. Tori and I are just friends. 
I'm sick of this hot and cold act you're pulling. All over me one minute, then too busy to fit me in your schedule the next. I thought you knew how important getting the solo was to me. Yeah, more important than anything. <laughs> Definitely more important than me. Look, if you want to work and worry yourself to death like your friend Jillian, that's fine. But I can't stand around and watch. from this whole time, haven't you? I've never been anything but your friend. You know I wouldn't do that. What I know is you're trying to destroy my confidence right before vacation, so I will come back and blow the audition. Well, it's not gonna work. I'm worried about you. You haven't been sleeping and you haven't been eating. You hide behind all that makeup. I've been practicing, and I'm gonna win. You need to give yourself a break. You don't have to be perfect all the time. No. But I'm going to be good enough to get that part. You're wrong. I'm going to get it because I'm a better dancer. <laughs> I'm stronger than you, Alyssa, and that's all there is to it. Hmm. We'll see. Now I do? Yes, ma'am. They said our daughter was brought up here, Lennox, Alyssa Lennox. Oh, my God. Alyssa's fine. Well, luckily, she didn't sustain any serious injuries. Well, then why was she admitted? Can we talk over here? We want to run some tests, have her see a psychologist. We're concerned that she may be suffering from anorexia nervosa. Oh, no. No, it's not possible. She only weighs 85 pounds. She's dehydrated. She passed out from hypotension, low blood pressure. The car ran off the road. The seatbelt was the only thing that saved her. I kept asking her, but she kept denying it. But I saw this. I shouldn't have waited so long. I should have done something. No, I mean, she, she's, a, she's a dancer. They all look like that, for God's sakes. Yeah, I realized that. But her x-rays showed a recently healed fracture of the tibia, which could have been caused by malnutrition. Yeah, that could also be a stress fracture from dancing, too. Well, we just want to make sure. If she does have an eating disorder, she could be in for some very serious complications. Electrolyte imbalance, decreased kidney function, cardiac arrhythmias, any or all of which could lead to sudden death. My baby, I, I just want to go see my baby. 
Oh, Alyssa. Hey, honey, how are you? Hi. Dad, I'm sorry, the car. Oh, don't worry about the car. It can be replaced. You can. Don't worry. I'll never drive home at night again. <laughs> honey, the reason you passed out was because you haven't been eating. Oh, no. You guys talked to that crazy doctor that thinks I have anorexia? Vertango just pushed rehearsal too long, and I was in a hurry to get home, so I didn't stop to eat. That's all it was, right? Yeah. I mean, I admit I've been a little stressed lately, you know? Rehearsing too hard. And maybe not eating enough, but, but Mom, I swear, that's all it was. I just missed you guys, and I wanted to get home. Please don't tell the company what happened. We don't have to do anything right now except help you rest. I think she's telling the truth. I think she just overdid it with the diet and rehearsals. I don't know. I... I don't know what to think. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I mean, I'm the one who encouraged you to work hard and to move out. I thought this is what she wanted. What about the ballet company? I mean, why didn't they tell us something was wrong? You can't keep me here. You're right. You're 18, so we can't force treatment on you. But you do admit you're undernourished. <sighs> yes. I know that I haven't been eating enough. And I've been rehearsing too hard. But I have a very important audition that I have to prepare for. All the more reason that you should stay here and rest while we get your weight back up to a safe level. Okay. How much do I have to gain? Five to seven pounds. Be a healthy start. No problem. Plus, you'll start to lose some of that fine hair you've got covering you. That was your body's way of keeping you warm. Oh, and one more thing. None of these fashion magazines. What am I supposed to do then? You're supposed to rest, remember? And there's a group of young women like yourself that get together. No, I told once... you I'm not like the other girls here. Okay, I'm not going to push you. We'll talk more later. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. She's danced and dieted herself right into the hospital. Oh, no. Is she all right? She says she is. Well, she should know. Dancers are especially attuned to their bodies. And we all struggle with the weight. I had to go through it. So did Jillian. I didn't know that Jillian was anorexic. She wasn't. That's not what I said. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. I, I'm just concerned about Alyssa. You don't come from the world of dance. You wouldn't understand. Well, I know that. That's why I'm here. I want to. Learning to control ourselves and our bodies is an essential part of a dancer's development. It takes an incredible amount of discipline to succeed in professional ballet. If you want to help Alyssa, just be there for her. Let her know you understand her struggle. Hey. Hi, Mom. Thank you. How about some Salisbury steak? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yummy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, this whole thing is crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. Alyssa. I found this notebook with your things. Okay. We were all just dieting, and I guess it got out of hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have told you. Mm -hmm. Honey, you've always been able to confide in me about everything. I made a mistake. I know that. Boy, do I know that. 
But I will take better care of myself when I go back, I promise. Well, I think that you shouldn't be thinking about going back right away. But the final audition is right after the break. I'll be fine by then, I'm sure. But I could call the Metro. I'm sure they would understand if you need a little more time off. No, they wouldn't. Mom, please, all that work I did wearing myself out like this, it'll all be for nothing. Well, it's been two weeks. Her pressure's stabilized, so are her hemoglobin levels and electrolytes. She seems to be eating pretty well. Maybe the behavior was an aberration. She did what she had to do to get out of the hospital. That doesn't mean she's not eating disordered. Well, I don't see how we can keep her if she's reached her target weight. No, we can strongly recommend an outpatient therapy program. Hey. Hey. I hear you've been eating pretty well. Yeah, I've been pigging out all right. <laughs> Let me check your weight. Ninety-one. Good. How do you feel? Great. Now, how about letting me get out of here? Hey. So, what's the verdict? She getting sprung? Yes. But, Alyssa, I'm going to want to continue seeing you for therapy, okay? Okay. God, I can't tell you how good it is to be home. Well, I got my wish. <laughs> me too. Mmm, no more Salisbury steak. Uh-oh, that's what I was making for dinner. You seem to like it so well. I know, I can't wait for the awesome food back at the Metropolitan. Uh, honey, we still haven't agreed that you should go back. Metro's where this all started, Liz. But, Dad, it wasn't the ballet, okay? It was me. I pushed myself too hard. But I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that anymore. Honey, we just want you in a safe environment where this won't happen again. I feel safer when I'm dancing. More whole when I'm dancing than any other time. And I made a commitment to them. Look, if, if we agree to let you do this, and it's a big if, there's going to be some ground rules. Mm -hmm. You're going to see Dr. Elkins once a week. You're going to see a medical doctor twice a month. And you're going to have to follow the meal plan that the hospital gave you. Agreed. What else? You call us and you come home every weekend, OK? No extra rehearsals. No, no performance is nothing. I don't think we're not going to check up on you. <sighs> Done. Should we shake on it? We can trust you, right, Liz? Positions, please, girls. Very nice. Well, we don't know what you've been doing over the break, Alyssa, but obviously you haven't been dancing. Congratulations, Tori. Oh, 
Hi, Dr. Elkins. Yeah, I'm really sorry I haven't called you. I've been just super busy since I got back. You know what? There's someone at the door. I, I, I gotta go. The seat taken? Look, I just, I wanted to tell you, I miss you. And I'm really sorry about everything. So am I. And congratulations on the solo. You were right. You were the better dancer. Maybe that day. But what Michael said about you is wrong. You work harder than anyone around here. I'm totally over it, I swear. I'm glad Troy got the solo. Yeah, well, that's how it is, you know. There'll be other parts, right? No, I haven't made the appointment yet. I've been really busy since I got back. Final rehearsals this week. I said I would, okay? I will. I've got Dr. Elkin's card right here. Okay, yeah. Great. See you this weekend. Bye. How did she sound? Like she's back to her old self. David? David? David! Come in here! What? Look, look at this. Oh, my God. This is an obsession. What's that? It's an evaluation letter from the ballet company. Listen to this. We strongly advise you to lose at least five pounds. Oh, God. At least. They did this to her. Now, what does this girl's mother want? We have no idea. And the father's a lawyer? I just saw her going to Marsha's office. 
Absolutely. We understand your concerns. But we had no idea Alyssa was in that sort of trouble. And we're very sorry and surprised to hear that she is. But what is it that you would like from us? Well, I just wanted to apprise you of the situation so that you could alert us if her condition changes. I'd also like you to tell me how this could happen. When our daughter first came here to Metro, she was a happy, healthy 18-year-old girl. Now she's moody, she has no appetite, not to mention she looks emaciated. And you see, what I don't understand is when she was at home, she could hide her condition. But when she's here with you, she wears leotards. You must have seen how thin she was getting. I'm sorry, but that's not our responsibility. We can't watch these girls all the time. We're their employers, not their parents. Most employers don't tell their employees to lose weight or they'll be fired. And that's not what happened here, I can assure you. Mrs. Lennox, every effort is made to safeguard the health and well-being of our dancers. But there are some things that we just have no control over. Okay, I understand that. But now you understand this. Alyssa loves being here, but I will do nothing to jeopardize her health. Her weight stabilized over the break, and she's getting counseling. Now, I just want to make sure that she is looked after and that she is not penalized for her problem. No, of course not. Listen, we appreciate you coming in and telling us about this. And we'll do everything we can to help. Thank you. We can't keep dodging bullets like this. We're going to lose sponsors. Obviously, there is a very serious problem here. And we all know it. So why can't we hire a psychiatrist or doctor? If we do that, it's like admitting culpability. We have a trainer and masseuse on staff. Why not a doctor? We can barely afford those. Where's the money for a shrink going to come from? Out of your salary? It's always been like that in the ballet world, Valerie. Survival of the fittest. You know that. What I know is I can't dance anymore because my bones are damaged for doing just what Alyssa did. Idiots. Valerie, please. What a surprise. You're just showing up here to take me to lunch. Well, honey, you won't tell me anything on the phone. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. Besides, you said that we could check up on you. I didn't say that you could go behind my back and humiliate me in front of the people whose opinion matters to me the most. Yes, I heard you in that office. In fact, I'm sure by now the whole company knows what a traitorous loser I am. Okay, honey, I, I, I am sorry that I didn't tell you what I was doing, but I really felt it was for your own good. Oh, ruining my life, my career, that's for my own good. Alyssa, we saw your closet at home. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Just leave me alone. Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa. Alyssa. Oh, God, somebody help! Help me! I don't understand what happened. Alyssa suffered a cardiac arrhythmia brought on by an electrolyte imbalance. Her potassium levels were dangerously low, which means that she's been purging. What does that mean? Growing up. All this time we thought she was getting better. She's actually been getting worse, David. Well, I thought she was seeing you. She wasn't making her appointments. Why didn't you tell us? I couldn't. She's over 18. She has to want to get help. If she doesn't, the physical damage will only get more severe. Look, I, I, I don't want to scare you, but the mortality rate is incredibly high. You're in the hospital, sweetie. Please don't do this to me. Shh. It's gonna be fine. Oh, it's gonna I be don't fine. want this. I can take care of myself. No, you can't. Look, listen to us. You're gonna die if you don't let us help you. Do you understand? I don't deserve any help. What are you talking about, sweetheart? Of course you do. No, I don't. 
I'm an embarrassment and I'm a failure. We love you, Alyssa. We just don't want to lose you. You have no idea what it means to go against Metropolitan. But that's the only way things are going to change. Now, look, I, I realize that classical ballet has been this way as an institution for a long time, demanding their dancers be thin. That's right. It has. But just because it's been going on forever does not make it right. In fact, it makes it worse. There is nothing anyone can do about it. Yes, there is. <sighs> Kathleen, look at me. Look at me. I did not want to face the fact that Alyssa had anorexia either. I did not want to think that maybe I had caused it or, or that I had ignored it or that I had let it go on too long. But I did worse than that. I encouraged Jillian. I wanted it so much for her what I had and it killed her. <laughs> I just I didn't know how bad it was. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. God, I, I am so sorry. But you see, that is where the Metropolitan could have helped us. They could have alerted us to the problem. They could have made sure these girls got help instead of covering it up. Oh, God. That would mean admitting that they had a part in creating the problem in the first place. I think it's time we put some pressure on them. I don't know. I don't know. Alyssa is working so hard to help herself. I just want to do something to help, too. I was looking for you. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm walking. Looks to me like you're exercising. Probably because you think this tiny amount of nutrient that we're giving you is going to make you fat. When you know, logically, that that's not true. When I was an anorexic, I did the same thing. Surprised you there, didn't I? You thought I was just your average, everyday, annoying shrink, but I'm much worse. When I say I know how you feel, you can believe it. Okay. How do I feel? You don't like yourself very much. No matter how hard you try, deep down, you never think you're good enough. But you are. So why do I feel this way all the time? That's what we have to find out. How do you think you look? I look sick. Sick how? Sick fat, all right? Is that what you want to hear? I see a fat, ugly, hateful person. It's okay. You know that's not true. You're dealing with a distorted perception. You've only been at this a few days. But you will get better. If you work on yourself as hard as you do when you're dancing, believe me, you will. You're the artist. You're the one that talked her out of Northwestern. You want to blame me? That's fine. But, David, she has wanted to be a ballerina since the time she was six. I was only encouraging her to follow her dream. Stop it, okay? Just stop it. You guys always argue over me like I'm not even here. Like my feelings don't even matter to you. Of course they matter. No, they don't. The only thing that matters to you is that I'm not a disappointment. So you can point to me and be proud. Dad, you always told me that I had to work hard no matter what. Don't ever quit. And Mom, you just always expected me to be good no matter how I got there. But honey, what does that have to do with starving yourself? I have to eat half as much as everyone else because I am twice as fat. Oh, think about that, Alyssa. Has starving yourself really gotten you where you want to be? I mean, you're here in the hospital instead of at the ballet. But if I don't become a ballerina, then... <laughs> then I'm worthless. Oh, honey, that's not true. 
your father and I, we don't care if you're a ballerina. We just want you to be happy and healthy. So that's the question, Alyssa. What do you want to do with your life? Whatever it is, it can't be for your dad, or for your mom, or for Metropolitan. It has to be for you. I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore. Maybe I never knew. Thank you all for coming tonight. We are proud to announce that this benefit performance in memory of our beloved principal dancer, Jillian Monroe, has raised over $100,000 for charity. <laughs> Jillian's mother, Kathleen, is here with us tonight to accept this donation and to tell us where the money will go. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. I had intended to use this generous donation to fund a ballet scholarship. But first, let me introduce you to a very good friend of my daughter's and a member of this company, Alyssa Lennox. I left here over a month ago because, um, because I was suffering from anorexia. I'm still suffering, and I have a long way to go, but I'm getting better. It started when I received a written evaluation from Mr. Gregory, the artistic director, asking me to lose weight. So I did. 
only I couldn't stop. And neither could Jillian. Alyssa has taken this brave new step because one out of every 100 girls will develop anorexia. But one out of every five classical ballerinas will. So I'd like to announce that a Center for Eating Disorders will be established at Memorial Hospital in Jillian's name. So now there will be help available at no cost to any member of the ballet who needs it. And uh, after I take a short leave of absence to get completely well, I want more than anything to dance at Metropolitan. There are some great people here. <laughs> but I do think some things have to change. You are right, they do. <laughs> just like you. No. You are so beautiful just the way you are. Don't you forget that, okay? And don't you let anyone ever tell you something different. Mm -hmm. 